Hi guys, and welcome to the Rainbow Six Replays YouTube channel. Today, we want to present the video highlights of the match between Vivo Kide Stars and Furia Esports during the Brazil League 2024 Stage 2. Don't forget to subscribe and put a like. Enjoy. The next execute is going to come in through Moto, in through Church, instead of down through Blue. Nice pitch on that gas canister to go over towards Oil Pit. This is going to continue to go in favor of Vivo Keed Stars. Fellapox walks right into Neskin. It's JV92 and Nade is the last two remaining. A slow peek from the Finca. JV92 getting that kill, and he's the only one that's left. Nade dies. Daffodil seals the deal. To trick this hatch, actually, Linda cannot place down that exothermal charge, so he blows up the last one. There we go. He's just waiting for the, the exothermal charge. He can't place down another until the last one blows up. Well, that's kind of silly. And that's a tough loss. Yeah. Nade going down, he was Moto. Only 25 seconds, but the angles favor Furia. Yeah, not an ideal position to find in. Furia taking these gambles, taking these fights, and Daffodil has really been the kryptonite so far through a round and a half. Time for things to turn around. But as long as Daffodil is still around with good gun in hand and utility, he can do some damage. JV92 will remove him from action. Five seconds left, still six players up in the server. Not everybody will die as the clock hits zero. Miracle almost wins it. Out of the map. Look at this calmness. Eerily reminiscent of the previous round where things were so slow and so quiet. Everybody with their heads still firmly screwed on. 30 seconds left. You've got the main door. It's so inviting. You just want to walk in and go for the plant. Daffodil does the first bit of damage. He eliminates Felipox. Lenda getting the diffuser down, and it will be a scramble in the post plant. As out toss the nades, Herds the first on the board for Furia. Down goes Neskin, and it is a retake from Furia. How good can it be? Lenda, after dropping that diffuser himself, will get a kill on in, and we're at 30 seconds left on this case. Not a lot of time for Furia as they trade kills. Lenda yet again on the board. He and Daffodil will need to carry the rest of this round. As for Furia, they need to retake JV92. Can he be a miracle worker? He's got just Daffodil to contend with and only five seconds before that diffuser hits the point of no return. JV92 bails off of it and that will be the round for Vivo Keed Stars. Jacuzzi wall and now they're gonna cash clear. This is gonna be a very low time execute. They're not even at the bomb site yet, Parker. Yeah, and they've already dropped Neskin dead. Lenda bleeding out. Fury are rebuffing this entry. And again, very, very quickly do we see the tides begin to turn. Additionally, these rounds are deceptively fast. We're at 30 seconds. It feels like very little has actually happened. But if you're Vivo Keed Stars, you've been quite active. You have to deal with these remaining players from Furia. Tough spot to be in if you're Felipox. You look the wrong way. You get Siege timing. Daffodil and Miracle with two kills. And suddenly the advantage is now gone for Furia. Especially since Lenda's been picked back up. Frustration on the face of Herds as he takes one player down. But the timer is the big issue here. And KZ saves the round in the final moment. Unnulled hard. And it's going to be even more deadly with Herds up on a flank. It's a very odd spot for Stem to be holding for a long period of time. He wants the cutoff in lounge and possibly can get one of these defenders if they're looking in the wrong direction. There it is. Nade dies. Stem actually gets two. He drops KZ. Helipox, Felipox and Herds are on the board. Now JV92. These teams will come to blows very quickly. In the snap of your fingers, suddenly every skepticism and hesitation that I think this match warrants. And with that, it makes every round so unpredictable and so enjoyable because you get moments like that where Stemp thinks he... Back to the bomb site. He had Nade, I believe, in bar for a moment. Now he spots the Blitz and he's locked himself in with that barricade. Not the situation you ever want to find yourself in, but he's dealt so much damage in the C4. It's good enough. It cakes down the long table. But he's got some barriers for himself. This was the bomb site where he died early previously. Now we're getting a good look of how he would have operated were he to survive, and he's going to lay the hurt down on these attackers. 10 seconds left, and they have to effectively trickle into the bomb site. JV92 coming down is uh, it's tough to deal with, but the one thing is that it's very, very obvious when you hear it. Nice shot by KZ. Makes it look so easy. Davidil is no more. KZ still on quite limited HP. 
He needs to do his job in blue as now a Nitro Cell goes out. Shield drops from Nade. More damage can be done with that shield down and just waiting on the mute to pull and there we go nade losing most of his hp followed up on miracle winning that engagement no real help for nade at this current point in time in blue that's where the ruckus is beginning lenda and miracle on the board now very quickly on and it's jv92 is the last one standing bullets whizzing out diffuser surrendered over in dirt tunnel and with the timer being what it is whether he can or can't get past national teams you cannot get pushed to 12 rounds against every team in your region. You have to beat them and do better. And this is going to be an execute pretty quick here up the main stairs. It'll be Herds, who's quickly taken down by Daffodil. They've got the main breach, and they've got Logi uh, Hatch open as well. Stemp in the site's been a huge problem, though. Nade and JV will both fall to him, leaving KZ and Bleep Box, the last two alive. One with a gun, one with a shield. The shield will get a kill, though. On to Miracle. Big knife kill coming out, but he is in a kind of taking advantage of this in the bottom of garage going for a run out here yes he is an impact from his teammate but it's all a bait jb92 so ready the premonition by nade or he's just expecting somebody to be in that spot bullet tracers go off as they desperately look to deal with those bandit batteries this should be a way in kz with a kill but miracle shuts that one down immediately and now miracle needs to pivot out of that position as he takes some damage from the window Stemp will cover over towards Rafters and plug that opening with a Kiba Barrier. Advantage for Furia, but the time, only 30 seconds. There's Miracle with a kill onto Herds. Nitro Cell goes out, but it was the damage done from the MP7. Now it's Neskin trying to dodge this, but the opening of that breach will be his undoing. JV92 walking in. He and Nade, last two left. Miracle with one, looking for the win and it's the captain go off that'll be the explosion there so they have kitchen hatch open but once again it's going to be a push focused around dirt and blue as monty makes his way there 30 seconds again these rounds just flying by and dire straits for furia daffodil almost loses it on a jv92 but he's slick over an oil pit the monty walking in escorted this is a troubling spot. Felipox dropped. Monty is still up. Herds will be the only coverage. It's all up to Nade. And the time is working against him. Len just shuts the of Felipox, maybe even ending this game if he can get enough here. He'll plug that hole as he tries to get out of his position, but Lenda is unsuccessful. Herds is just simply in it. And this is a very quick round for Furia, just a little over a minute. And we're starting to see action occur in and around the bomb site. The Blitz of Felipox toying with the door. Stemp doesn't really want an engagement here and has to be wary of where he goes as he takes some shots onto the shield, but of course they deflect right away. Bandit being tracked by the Deimos of JV92. KZ in, JV92 one as well. Nitro Cell tossed by Neskin, but it's a desperate attempt. No flawless round as Neskin, who's still, still alive, allows his traps to do the work and JV92 vaults on over. It's red by the drone in lounge and has to worry about what's behind him, but he's also turning his back to the shield of Nade. He's now lost a bit of HP. Flashes will go out. Daffodil has set up this beachhead downstairs in garage. Herds dies at the hands of Miracle. They're trying to finish off the Fenrir, but Daffodil wins the engagement against Felipox. KZ, the only kill so far. The shield of Nade getting up close and personal, but it's all down to KZ. Vivo Keatstar is going for the upset. All they need is a single kill to find it. A shotgun at the top of the stairs will reduce KZ effectively to rubble. He walks through the toxic gas, not inhaling any of it. But he's a man right now, living on borrowed time. Furia looked indomitable for so long. They've already bled once so far this stage. And VKS will do it to Furia.